Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So I start on the left side with a circle, starting from the top, going all the way around. Now I just want to leave a little gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right side, starting from the top. Now in the center of the eyes, I'm going to draw a little black dot for the pupils. Now let's move up above the eyes and draw in the eyebrows. So we're going to give them a big frown. So on the inside left edge, I'm going to curve up and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now in between the eyes, I'm just going to draw a little curve. Now let's draw the top part of the eyebrow. So on the ends, we're just going to round this out and just follow that curve down the middle and then back up on the right side. Just in between the eyes, we're going to draw on the nose. So it's basically a half oval starting just below the left eye. Come down and then back up. Underneath the eyes, I want to draw a little curve for the eye bag. Let's draw the mouth underneath the nose. So we're going to start with a curve from left to right. Coming down below the nose and back up on the right. We're going to round out the sides of the mouth. And then we'll connect the bottoms with another curve. On the sides of the mouth, I just want to draw a little bracket. And then along the top part of the mouth, we're just going to add some teeth. So starting on the left side, we're just going to draw a series of little half circles going all the way across. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom, just inverting the circle, so going upwards. Now that we've got the face, let's go ahead and draw on the top of the head. So we're going to start just on the side of the neck and draw a straight line going up alongside the head. Then we're just going to round up the top. We're going to go all the way around towards the right. Now as we come down towards the right, right about here, we're going to draw a little socket for a little vein. So a little C-shape. And then we'll continue going down straight towards the neck. From the top of the C, I'm just going to curve around go straight down and then pull that in towards the side of the head. At the base of the neck, we're going to start drawing in the ribs. So starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and then up on the inside. We're going to work our way back around towards the bottom of the rib, so curving around, and we'll just pull that back up towards the top of the rib. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start with the curve, go going down and up, and then we'll work our way back around and then just loop it back towards the top. Continue working down the side of the body with a short line below the rib on either side. Now we're going to repeat those ribs just below here. So curving down and up, and then we'll curve back around and then back up towards the top. Do the same thing on the right. And then we're going to continue the side of the body again with a short line, and then another set of ribs up, down, then back around. And we'll do one more set, so continue this line down the sides, and then one last set of ribs. Coming up, down, and then around. Let's continue the side of the body down towards the hip. A straight line. Now from these two points, we want to curve down and in towards the center point. So curve down and in, and up on the right side. We're going to move back up and draw the sides of the hip bone. So just underneath this rib, we're going to curve out, and then we'll just pull that in. Now we want to curve around and then back up in the center. Starting with a curve coming down, and we'll just pull that up slightly in the middle. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go ahead and frame out the inside of the hip bone. So up here we're just going to curve, just follow that same curve coming down, and then along the bottom. Then we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add some blood splatters along the bottom here. So we start on the left side. I'm just going to draw a little wave that goes around, up, and then down. 
lots of spots along the side. One circle here, draw a smaller one on the inside, and one on the right. We're also going to add some blood on the hips. So from this corner, we're just going to curve across. Up in here, we'll just curve up. And do the same thing down below. Do one on the bottom here, curving up, and then continue on the right side. And then right here, I just want to draw a curve going across. We'll continue working down the leg, so we'll start with the inside part of the leg first. So at the bottom of the left hip, we we'll curve down and out. We we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now right here, we're just going to add that metal hinge. So starting at the bottom, we're going to draw a little oval. At the top of the oval, I just want to draw a straight line going out towards the left, and then along the bottom as well. And we're just going to connect those two points with a half oval. Now we're going to draw on the top of the hinge, just underneath the hip. So right here, we're just going to draw a tinier oval. Draw a straight line across from the top and the bottom. And then we're just going to cap off the end with another half oval. Let's draw two bars coming down from the top to the bottom. Starting on the outside, we'll angle down. We'll step over and draw another angled line. We'll do that two more times. Now on the outside, we just want to show the outer part of the thigh. So right up here, at the top of this hinge, we're going to curve up and out underneath the hip. On the right side, we're going to just draw a circle with an open end on the top. So starting at the top here, we're just going to circle around, leave an open gap along the top. Now at the left side, we're just going to curve over toward the left and then taper back down on the right. In the center, we're just going to draw a little circle. Now let's draw the outer part of the thigh. So from the outside of the circle, we're going to curve up and in behind the hip. On the side of the hip here, we're just going to add a little bolt. So we're going to draw two lines coming out. We'll overlap those two points with a straight line coming down, and then connect those two points with a little half circle. At the bottom of each knee joint, we're just going to curve in and down towards the heel. On the left side, we'll curve down and in. The same thing along the right. Now we're just going to curve the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, to draw a curve. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I just want to layer in the toes. So right here on the left side, we're going to draw a hook going up and out. We'll step over, curving up, and then just tucking that in behind the first toe. And then at the end, we're just going to curve up and then in behind the second toe. At the top of the second toe, we're just going to curve up and in underneath the hinge. And then up here, we're just going to curve down towards the heel. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So right up here, we're going to curve up and over. About halfway along this little section, we're just going to curve up and over in behind. And at the end, we'll do the same thing. At the top of the middle toe, we're going to curve up and in underneath the hinge. And then from the heel, we'll curve up over the foot. We want to draw a little bone coming down the front of the shin here. So from this end, we're going to step in and just curve alongside the shin, round out the bottom, and we'll just pull that back up. Let's go back up and draw in the shoulder. So we're going to start just beside the mouth on the side of the body. On the left side, I'm going to curve down, but I'm going to draw some fur along the side. So curving out, and we're just going to hook that back in. Continue that curve coming down, we'll hook that back in all the way down towards the edge of the shoulder. Now I just want to take that point and curve down above that rib, curving across. Now on the right side, we're just going to draw a simple curve, starting at the same height, curve out, and then down, and then from the top of this rib, we'll curve up towards the edge of the shoulder. We're going to add a little vein in the shoulder here. So at the top of the shoulder, I'm just going to curve around and in, leaving a little gap. We're going to step down, curve up, and then down. And then on the side here, we're just going to draw almost like a little half circle. About halfway along the bottom of the shoulder, we're just going to draw in the back. So right up here on the left side, we're just going to curve in behind the body, and the same thing on the right side. Now going back to the left, we're just going to draw in this arm. So right where the back meets the shoulder, I'm going to curve down and out. We want to draw that little joint in the elbow. So stepping in, we're just going to draw a curve going around to the outside and then we're just going to pull that in just overlapped by that little line there. We're going to go back up to the top and curve in behind that elbow joint. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side. 
So right up here, we're just gonna curve down and out. Now right here, we're just gonna step across, do a little curve, almost like drawing a circle. We're gonna go around and then just pull that in towards that end. Then up in the shoulder, I'm just gonna curve down in behind the elbow joint. Let's go back to the left side. We're gonna start with the inner part of the forearm. So curving down and in. We're gonna round up the thumb with a little half circle. At the end of the circle, we'll just draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're just gonna swirl around the bracket and go up. We step down, draw another curve going up. Now the third finger is gonna go all the way around in towards that wrist. We'll go around and then just pull that in. Underneath the elbow, we'll just curve down in behind the hand. And then up here, we're just gonna draw a little curve with a little wrist separation. Let's do the same thing on the right side. On the inside part of the arm, we're just gonna curve down and in. We'll round up the thumb with a little half circle. And then a little bracket at the end. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll swirl around the bracket and go up. And the second finger. Now the third finger is gonna go around and then in towards the wrist. At the bottom of the elbow, we're gonna curve down in behind the hand and then right up here we'll just draw a curve to separate the wrist. And there we have it, there's Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.